Victor. The 30. Three runners and it buries it as well. It's game on for the Nizams. It's 1 1 in Fatorda. 13 minutes has elapsed. Are we ready? Game back as we started. Level. He said this man's going to have an important defensive role to play tonight. He also had another role, which I'm sure he wasn't expected, but he did it brilliantly. The likes of Joel Kinesi and Bobby Bitche in the team. The captain stepped up and said, let me show you how it's done. Hey. Sliding it through now. Dravikdor, the captain trying to pull it back inside. Can you believe it? Bobby Bitche. Who is he calling? He's calling all the fans of Hyderabad. The Nizams are leading 2-1. And Bartok Beche scores against his old club in stunning fashion as well. Yeah, well scored by Bartok Beche, but this is an all-round brilliant team goal. It's a fantastic ball from Hitesh trying to get. He delays, delays, and then just cuts it back. The run of Joel Kinez is attracted to the defenders elsewhere. Bartok Beche cleverly just pulls out into a little pocket like all good strikers do. And then when he gets this kind of opportunity, He's certainly not going to miss. Just passed it home, sending the keeper in the other direction. 2021-22 campaign here in the Super League where Mumbai lost from a no! winning position. Play goes on! 3-1! A blistering drive! It's the super sub, Rohit Danu, the 19-year-old, has come off the bench seven times for his club. And here he is with his first ever Hero Indian Super League goal. They thought there was a foul. Play continued. Hyderabad, they're in dreamland. Once again, it's a throw in, a flick on, just perfectly flicked on between two players. It's just fallen for Rohit Danu. Here we go, it's that man again, Zhao Victor in the thick of things. He's just gambled on it in that position, right down on He's just smashed it home, very similar to the other way. Jahu scored that one from a very similar situation. There's uh, so many people in India, you can catch all the action on the app, and now let's catch some of the action here! It's an equaliser! They call for the big man, the big man answers, and he delivers what we call a golasso. Game on, Hyderabad. What an unbelievable move. Bardo Beche opened himself up, but everyone in the pitch thought he's going to play a pass out wide. Plays a little one-two with Jal Victor, and instead of lashing at this, Beche just takes a little touch and opens himself up and rolls it in the corner, and Ranesh has no chance. Here is Bada Beche deflecting! There is the breakthrough goal. He's an incredible finisher. It was a wicked deflection. Gurpreet had no chance in the Bengaluru goal. The match is not even seven minutes old and Hyderabad take the lead 1 0. This time he tries to play it in cheekily. It's in the box and put away. The goal will stand. Jinglin Sardisin gets his first ever goal in the Hero Indian Super League. What a special occasion for this talented young defender. This is exactly what we're saying, Matt. You give away needless free kicks, it gives the opportunity. We've seen that happen before. Look at that favourable deflection of Beche. Can he go one step better? He can! That's two! King Bart has done it again! He joins Bobber as the second player for Hyderabad to score in four successive games. This is the man who at 17 years and nine months made his debut for Nigeria at the World Cup of 2002. The Beche from distance, he goes for goal! Oh, I am blessed to be here! Golasso from Bart of Beche! He's in the 40 club now, and that could possibly seal the points for Hyderabad.
Well, we were just saying there hasn't been much action in the final third. And this man decided, now let me change that. Brilliant turn. And talking of time, they're hearing it's probably four minutes to be added on key. Here's his delicate little touch, opens the door! Does it, what? It's super sub, it's game set and match. Aniket Javid. It hasn't been a 4-1 game, but it was a perfect execution. That's what he say, the substitution, just a long kick from the goalkeeper, and you've got to gamble, and that's exactly what Aniket Javid has done, and he struck it early. Season for each team, the game towards that festive period. You can see a semblance of where the top teams will stand. Well, they're looking for a fifth in the closing stages, and as the heat map shows you, that is a fifth. And it's another substitute. The 24-year-old Spaniard, Siberio, with a header. It's 5-1. Hyderabad have scored more goals against North East United than any other. This is now 14 goals in five games in the Hero Indian Super League. She's right. That was pure class. Nikhil Pujari. Looks at nicely, it's a free header, it's a goal! That is a classic finish from the Aussie. Joel Kianese gets the breakthrough goal. A perfect run into the box, but let's commend the skills that came before it. Top class goal, Hydra better up by one goal to nil. Wow, Asish Rai with a lovely little fit. And Pujari does ever so well just to keep going and deliver an absolute worldy into the box. Chuk ball could have added to the scoreline. That was a more difficult chance. That's a dangerous ball and Benche doesn't miss from there! But Benche is the outright top scorer in the Hero Indian Super League. You would give him a chance, he will deliver. That's game on in terms of Hyderabad. Yeah, you got a question the centre backs over here, both clearly aware of it. Here's Raju Gaiko, just gets underneath the ball, misses the flight of it. He's going to post, it's deflecting all the way in. Who takes the last touch? Bottom bench, they might be claiming it. Whipped in ferociously. Hyderabad take the lead on nine minutes. Well, don't give away fouls in dangerous areas. This is what can happen. It's a great little flick on from Jao Victor. Had to get down low and it's carried all the way through. I'm not too sure who that's hit. Could have come off Hector Rodas in the end, I think. But, you know, it's a great ball in. Jao Victor just does enough. Could have come off Javi Hernandez, one or the other. It's not a Hyderabad player anyway. But they lead 1-0. Game for him. First appearance of the season. And what a bullet-like header! If you had doubts about the first one, there's no doubts about the second goal of Hyderabad. It was a set-piece masterstroke in the 39th minute. They take over the lead yet again. Could be his second of the night. But a beautiful header. I mean, to get that ball across and whip it and get it down at the back post to allow him to get up and down over the ball. Just super technique from Edu Garcia and an even better header for Bardo Beche. It's a solitary point in their last three games. And all the way to goal! Edu Garcia does it! An incredible finish! And that's his first of the campaign. 3-1 to Hyderabad. They're getting closer and closer to making sure of the points and change directions two or three times. He picks the ball up in midfield, and Hector Rodas drops deep, but he gets sucked into Edu Garcia, and he does so well to hit the ball on his weaker left foot before you know, the goalkeeper can set himself. It's that little touch there, and then bang, pulls the trigger. Absolutely brilliant. He was just surrounded by a dish of players, and Isaac plays it back, and Nanda runs for Isaac, and 
solid challenge by the goal scorer, and it gets Obeche, Obeche shoots that and scores! And given that he was awarded the first goal, that's another hat-trick in the Hero Indian Super League, the third of the campaign, back-to-back hat-tricks. We had a hat-trick last night in Victoria, and we've got one here, 4-1. But it's great work here from Anika just to find that little space. I thought he's going to play Edu Garcia in, but Bardo Beche fakes to go one way and then goes the other. And it's just a side foot finish composed through the legs of Gorav Bora. And Bardo Beche knew exactly what he was doing once that ball came to him. Bottom corner, cool as you like. A double blow in the second half for the Juggernauts. This man, Bardo Beche. Headed away by the sub who's just come on, Victor Mongol. Back inside from Anand and Severio defies the trap. He's just come on the pitch and he gets on the score sheet for the second time in the Hero Indian Super League. He scored against North East United just a minute or two after Kiko got a yellow card, which meant he's suspended for the next game. He won't be able to be on the bench. And it's six goals, as you indicated, Eric Pardaloo. <laughs> it's a great little lob back in, and one undone ever so well, just to guide that in front of what must be said, two or three unmarked Hyderabad players, and Severio off the bench again, getting his goal. It's a lovely little dick back into the box, but one arm just with a cushion header. He's stepping up. Oh, I hit it with ferocity. What a scoreline. History again. Of Beche's hat trick on the back of that 6 1. Hyderabad have never scored six against any side. They're a team moving forward and moving up the table. Gave the keeper the eyes. And it's all about opening up those hips and going across the right hand side. It's good movement from him. And not many goalkeepers are going to save that. Nestled into the corner of the net. Coming into this game, Eric. Adisha on 10 points in 7th position. Now I do. That's a decent ball from Edu. Anika will surely keep this in, just... That doesn't matter, that's enough. And the ball is deep. Of Becci, one of those underneath it, but surely that's... Oh, yeah! the keeper! And Rindu has spelt it! And you can't do that at the feet of this man! And Bart of Becci has just been handed a goal on a plate! Brilliant play, it was Bart that started the move by feeding it into Edu Garcia. And Anket drops and puts it on the right shoulder. Thierry's got to deal with this better. But Amrinda, that is absolutely awful goalkeeping. From, well, like you said, the seven-cap man. And you know Bart. If he sniffs a goal, he's going to be there. The keeper's dropped it right at his feet. He doesn't even let it bounce high. He hits it on that little half volley to equalise. After such a stunning start, it's an error from ATK Moen began that has opened the door. He takes a second and Javier Severio, the 24-year-old Spaniard, has come up with an equaliser for Hajibad, whose record may be intact and who may be just hitting the top of the hero Indian Super League table. Mumbi is trying to be clever. A lovely little dink over the top. And how about that for a finish? From Severio, quality, quality header, but again, should Amrinder have done better? Tiri caught the wrong side, he almost gets a fingertip to it, but take nothing away from that finish. Ashish Rice turned to go, Severio again, this time he's made it! It's fifth time lucky, the coach shows absolutely no emotion, Severio certainly does. He's in a huddle, he's got the goal. It's his fourth on his first start in the colours of Hyderabad who equalised right on half-time. From Ashish Rai, but how about this for a header? He's absolutely powered that into the corner. It's a cool, calm, strong and solid header from Severio to square things up right on the stroke of half-time. He's been watching Barton Becci in training, I reckon. Again, Sowick, again a fine delivery. Bart of Becce this time. Arindam Zay, but so is Severio. And a goal has been given. And finally, you said it, Les. They've made the pressure count. Hyderabad 1 0 in the lead. It's gone straight through Arindam. 
There's the ball in. Again, SC East Bengal not defending set plays. The keeper has to do better. I'm really sorry, but does it touch? No. It touches Semboy. But you, you've, got to, you've got to claim that. It's right at your chest. Poor clearance. Severio looking for Obeche. And now Obeche. Bart Obeche. One on one. Rounding the keeper. And 2 0. Just like that. And that is surely Bart Obeche's goal. And now he's surely into double digits. And Hyderabad has doubled their lead. And the way that he's linking up with Obeche has been really good. Adol Khan with an awful clearance. And Severio with that header forwards. Bartok Beche gets the look of the green there though and then just rounds Arinda for what I think Palasta, I'm sure you'll tell us, is a landmark goal. Goal number 200 of the Hero ISL uh, this season and it's taken the fewest number of matches in all the seasons to get there. Bartok Beche, careful. Aniket, is there one more in here? Aniket, stay up. what a shot! Hit with chilling precision. Aniket Jadov, he deserved that more than any player on the pitch. What a half he's had. Lightning fast and that time the shot had enough in it to take it past Arindam. From Aniket, just checks back onto that favoured right foot. There you go. And just picks out that bottom corner. It's a cool, calm finish. Sidowell can't do anything about it. Adol Khan can't do anything about it. And because it's gone through players, one more player that he can add to a long growing list. Severio, one way then the other. Severio to block. Collective block, but what a finish and what a hat trick for Bart of Peche. Because in that moment, you could recognize the authority of this man. And three goals on the night. Hyderabad showing no mercy to SC's Bengal. Severio does ever so well here to check back and get the shot away. But wearing and playing in that number 10 role today, Bartok Beche shows the composure to just tuck that in for his first hat trick of the season. Cool, calm, collected right in the corner. Thank you very much. Akash Mishra, great ball in Kerry is the equaliser. And Hyderabad have fought back in an instant within the first five minutes of the second half. Well, that's the reaction we've been talking about. Hyderabad FC, amazing. They're all key and easy. Has to do is just guide that in the back of the net. Sa Sahil Panwar not able to mark key and easy. And again, it's from a cross puller. Ashish Rai. Joao on the turn. What a fabulous flash of genius from Joao Victor. spot and finds the back of the net no goalkeeper in the world is saving that one hit with terrifying certainty from captain courageous and joao victor leading from the front and putting his side in the lead yes it good ball inside and well 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 the right amount, flicks it towards goal, beautiful header for Akash Mishra, he was responsible for that first goal that they conceded, but look how he's bounced back, that's character. To go short to Mishra, back to Kianese, swung in towards one and at the back post, it's off the inside of the post, and turned in, right in front of goal by Bartok Bacce. To stamp his authority on this game, it's a lovely little set piece routine with Mishra and Joel Kianese putting a delicious ball into the box. And Joel Victor's first to it, and then it's Johnny on the spot by Bart or Beche. He knew he had to follow in for scraps there. Jadab's close, but Bart's closer. And he gives Subhashish Roy no chance. It's a great leap from Joel Victor. Gets lucky with the spin. But all good strikers in the six yard box pounce, and that's what Bart or Beche does best. Right into goal and guided into the net from close range. And it's Akash Mishra who scores for the second consecutive match. 
just got enough on the header to guide it into the corner. And Hyderabad have all dubbed up their advantage. And it's another corner that's paid dividends. Well, when it rains, it pours. And this man's got his second goal in as many games. It's a fantastic ball in from Kianese. Take nothing away from that. The service is delightful. It's off the back of his shoulder, but he won't care. The Kash Mishra, the drink or the tea celebration, I'm not too sure what that is. All smiles for Hyderabad. Roy. Two at the back post, not down by Kianese. Oh, bitch, he's there. Oh, it's got in. Well, does that go down as an own goal? Had the ball crossed the line. Certainly, Bartok Beche got a touch. Northeast are protesting. Northeast United, it's 3 0. Well, that's the man, Joel Kianese, who's taking the free kick, and nobody expects to pick him up. The wall just moves up, thinking they don't have a man to mark. And it's Bartok Beche getting it in there. I think it's crossed the line before they can intervene. That'll go down as a Bartok Beche goal. It's a great ball in from Suvi to identify that Kianese was alone. And Bart puts absolutely everything into that, and it goes across the line fortuitously. He won't mind. He's now the outright holder of the record. Probably not get stopped this year because of the, the quality in the squad and every. And here they come again! Drilling into the bottom corner by Nikhil Pajori, who marks his 50th here away as an appearance with a goal. The movement's good, the strike is good, and the result is good for Hyderabad and Nikhil Pajari. It's an unbelievable strike there, just to hit that one at full pace and keep it down across the goalkeeper, make him work. And who are going to stop these men in yellow? Good well by Sakurai Diallo. Chase on here for Severio, who will go up with Flockman and come away with the ball as well. Severio nicely played through, perfect weights! And slipped in by the man who's just come on, Edu Garcia. And somebody needs to match that run, but Edu Garcia is too quick, too intelligent, and it's a little nutmeg finish. Pass Sebastian has got no chance. Hyderabad 5 0 in front. And there's the crying baby celebration. Eche just peels away to find some space, allows it to run. Shao Victor, straight and Amrinda, Kianese's there on the follow up, and Hyderabad are back in the game. Shao Victor's drop was too hot to hold, and the keeper spills it, but there's Kianese on the spot to equal his three goal tally from last season. And what a vital that goal could be for Manolo Marquez's side. It's 2 1 ATK Mo began, but Hyderabad are back in it. Well, that'll bring back the confidence, the captain. With a stinger. It's on Peche. Severio into the roof of the net. Gerbri couldn't keep it out. And Javier Severio, a rare start for him. He delivers once more. Oh, Peche was lining up for his 50th. But they won't care who scores Hyderabad. They've taken the lead. It's a fifth goal of the season for Javier Severio. And Hyderabad lead Bengaluru here by a goal to nil. Well, a brilliant start. 15 minutes on the clock. And already we have a goal. Brilliant run down the left-hand side. Needs to get it in the box. Tries to pick out Ogbechi. It drops down for Ogbechi. He can't quite get his foot on it. Severio just gives it some violence. And it's in the back of the net. Even though Gerprit gets his hands to it. Wasn't able to keep it out. 1-0 Hyderabad. Vicky's been taken short. Jao Jao Victor! And they caught out the Bengaluru defence with a quick free kick. And the West Block Blues will be furious. But Jao Victor was smart enough and aware enough to receive that ball and bend it into the corner and Hyderabad have doubled their lead but Bengaluru and Marco Pezzioli will wonder what about the defending they're looking at each other as if to say how on earth have we let that free kick be taken it's on Bece's header and Bartok Bece on the spot once again it's another headed goal to take him to a half century and he calls his best ever goal scoring season 15 for Ogbeche, there's no stopping him, and when you put the ball on his head like that with quality, there's only one outcome, that's a goal for Hyderabad. Well, it was so quick the cameras missed it. It was a great ball in from Asish Rai, and Bardo Beche does not miss from there. Quality delivery and quality in the finish. Diraj, absolutely no chance. I love how... Well read by Asish Akash Mishra. Ogbeche feigns to shoot. Ogbeche! Oh, the keeper spilled it! And Ogbeche gets his second of the game, and he really should have been kept out by Diraj. He feigned to shoot initially, created a little bit of space for himself. He was lively throughout a couple of plays there, and gets onto his left foot and shoots from distance, and Diraj needs to save that. 
but everybody just seems so intimidated by this man once he gets going and he gets a little yard of space no one around him really making a challenge they have to you know with Bardo Becha you're not going to get that many opportunities to stop him but when he shoots on goal this can happen Diraj needs to do better three or four players now further up the pitch they're going to go for it Becha Ja Victor, this is his sort of range, took a deflection! And Diraj Peter once again, and Ja Victor has another goal in an impressive season. Ball number five for him, the captain leading by example. Just a little pick up there, Pardo Beche again laying it on a tee. And there's not a lot happening there for Ja Victor, he just tries his luck from distance. The cops a little deflection. I think off the back of Anwar Ali and Diraj is stranded. I don't like to say it, but I think there's a possibility he could have done better there because it's got a great height to it. I mean, it's come all the way down and bounced before it's hit the net, so... Joel Victor won't mind. The Macarena is out. High divider up 3-1. Surprisingly, Chencho is the... Fastest man on the pitch at the moment. We've seen some energetic performances from him off the bench. That's in by Rohit. He's on Beche! He's done it again! That's on Beche on the turn. He only needed half a yard. Two defenders around him. And such is the form he's in at the moment. He gets goal number 17 of the season. There simply is no stopping him. And Hyderabad have got the goal that will settle a few early nerves, maybe. And they lead Kerala Blasters by a goal to nil. He's added another facet to his game. Absolute brute strength. Danu does so well to put that one up in the end. Bijoy just gets turned and Leskovic comes back and tries to help. But it's all too late. Big part using all those strong muscles in his legs to hold him off. And puts it underneath Gil in the back of the net. Brilliant goal from Bardog Beche. But check out the strength and the touch and the finish through the legs. Severio's in the middle. He scored... Most of his goals as a substitute, and he scored another one as well. Brilliantly done. Picked out perfectly. What a ball that is from Nikhil Pajari. And Javier Severio gets his sixth goal of the season and surely has put Hyderabad into the semi-finals. He is the super sub, and Hyderabad lead 2-0. We're looking at a team here, Mark, full of quality. Nikhil Pujari, again we talked about the quality of the crosses from Hyderabad, on the money, perfect delivery inside that six yard box, the goalkeeper cannot come for that, he's stuck in between two minds because the service is unbelievable, he manages to get the hands of it, Severio doing well, keeping it down. Yasser. Yes, and Lachenpa punches, back into the area and Lachenpa had to dive once again. Sovic was the one with the shot in. It's still open! And Rohit Danu bounces on it, and Hyderabad have taken the lead. Question marks, is Rohit Danu offside? We'll have another look at that. The man who scored in this reverse fixture last time didn't have to wait 83 minutes to score again. Maranj just had a shot towards goal. No one's picked up Danu. Looks to be in an offside position, or... I know Murtada falls behind him, but you need two players. Run comes from Kianese. And still Kianese. And Kianese scores. And Hyderabad have taken the lead. And Mumbai City are falling. As you said, this is what his left foot can do. Beautifully weighted pass. It's just faked to Kianese. And then after that, that composure to just slot it through the keeper's legs. It's the best place to place it. And the keeper's come out. It's been difficult to chip it. Slots it home, and I think you have to say that is a nail in the coffin for Mumbai. They have a corner now. Yasser. Problems inside the box on the turn. Shouts the handball. One on. And Obeche! Big game, Bart Obeche! And this man is not going to miss out, Bart Obeche. Great leap from him initially, just coming through all the bodies. And this is where they just managed to keep it alive. Juanan, all his experience, just putting it in an area, asking questions, question marks of whether that could, should have been offside. I'm sure we'll discuss it more in half time when we have another place to look. But they just don't clear. 
deal with the initial ball. And they just caught ball watching as he just comes in front. Of the defender and glances a brilliant, brilliant header for Badek Beche. Possession of the mini miniature, meanwhile, the trophy. Meanwhile, Severio almost in possession of a chance. And there's one more strike. And there's the left foot of Yasin that has done the damage. Literally for ADK Mohan Bagan, the comeback kings Hyderabad are in front once again. Once again, the architect Badek Beche holding players off. The center backs put out of position, slide into one another. And as it's fallen, he's done brilliantly. Yasir taking a touch, the defenders would have closed him down. Opposite it first time, just go low and hard. He hit it early, the keeper's got no chance to set. And the two center backs not only they combine to almost assist, but in the process, I think both of them. Pumping up the pressure. Yasir. No! Chance again and goal! And see, Senor C! Harry C. Ferio for Hyderabad! The initial header's just gone off him, I think it's... It's a header... Was it Anike Jadav off him into Severio? Doesn't matter. Most important thing, it's in the back of the net. And it's 3-1. That's all Severio. Pippen Kotal's not doing enough. Again. Hyderabad have another free kick that one hand's gone off, don't forget. So they haven't got his side to rely on. They'll be looking though for Severio. Jav Victor's in there as well. Leskovic away once more. Driven back in again! Smashes it back across the face of Gill. The ball's on the down. It's just bounced right for him, hasn't it? And you look at this technique. Tavorason, what a hit. What a strike. Wow. What a grandstand finish.